Uh, see, let's see how to manage this, uh, you know, uh, main memory and cache together. Uh, now, in paging, we have seen how to manage the hard disk and main memory together. Now, we are talking about the main memory and cache management. So, if you remember it, you know, while discussing about this paging, I told you that main memory is divided into something, you know, let us say it is the main memory. I told you that main memory is divided into something called as frames, right? So, when I said that, I really don't mean to say that we have divided it physically. It is just a conceptual view, which means we didn't take any, you know, uh, pen and scale and we didn't draw the lines on the main memory. The division is just conceptual. Conceptual means it is not real. I assume that it is divided and then I managed it that way. Actually, the division is not uh, true. Okay, it is just the concept. I mean, we can view it that way, but physically it is not divided. Physically, it is just like an array, and logically, I I was viewing it as if it is divided into frames. Now, exactly the same way. See, in um, when we are discussing about paging, I told you that if this is a process, I told you that the process is divided into pages right so actually we didn't divide it we assumed that okay and then uh, we assumed that the main memory is divided into frames in such a way that uh, a page can fit in one frame isn't it similarly here also uh, while coming to the caching we assume that this is let us say is main memory and uh, you know it is cache here we assume that cache is divided into something called as lines so cache is divided into something called as lines and main memory is divided into something called as blocks 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 so again we are not dividing it we are just assuming it just for the purpose of management you know physically we didn't do it now you know you cannot argue that already we have divided the main memory into frames and now how are you dividing into blocks i didn't divide it i just assumed it isn't it so now uh, since this is a different one so while talking about the hard disk and the main memory we are talking about the page movements right and now while talking about the main memory and the cache we talk about blocks right so now each block size will be made in such a way that it is equal to the line size which means we are going to divide the main memory into something called as blocks now and then the cache into something called as lines 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 okay lines and now each block size is equal to the line size okay now i'll just take an example numerical example and then i'll show you how it really happens okay so one more thing is there is i i already told you a word word is word is uh, you know smallest addressable unit in the memory is called as word so uh, throughout the examples just for the sake of simplicity i assume that one word equal to one byte which means our systems are byte addressable okay and now instead of using the word byte i'll use the word word itself okay so that in numericals whenever they change the data you can directly substitute in place of word the number of bytes given okay so now let's do it this way let us say the main memory is 64 words okay in case if word equal to one word equal to one byte then it will be 64 bytes right in terms of bytes I'm not interested in terms of bytes. I'm just in, interested in terms of words because it can be extended later. Or if you are confused, you can wherever I say words for this example, you can put bytes and you could still calculate it. Okay. Uh, what is a word is whenever I ask, I generally ask for words as a CPU. Whenever it generates any uh, you know uh, address, it is not interested in getting the bytes. It is interested in getting the words. That is why it is better that we talk about words itself. Okay. And assume that this. Um, cache is having 16 words okay and now let's say the block size size of one block is equal to say four words okay now one block is four words therefore how many blocks will be there in the main memory 
so you can find it out right and now using this number of blocks number of blocks in main memory so how many blocks are there totally 64 words are there and uh, each block contains four words therefore number of blocks equal to 16 blocks right and how many words are there in each block four words which means i'll have 0 1 2 3 4 so on 0 to 15 blocks are there which means 0 to 15 means 16 blocks and in each block i have four words which means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 level so on right that is how each one is present right so 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so on the last one will contain six totally 63 words right 63 62 61 60 right so this is the total number of words present in all the blocks in the main memory right and now the cache let's say let's see how many um, 16 blocks, I know total size of the cache is 16 words. Therefore, let's see how many words the number of blocks is equal to 16, and I want the number of lines. The number of lines how could you calculate there are 16 words inside the uh, cache and each block has uh, four words therefore the number of lines is four lines four lines are present in the cache and 16 16 blocks are present in the main memory got it so now uh, this is the organization this is cache and this is main memory now the main main uh, thing is whenever cpu generates any um, address what does it really mean what does it want and then how could you see whether the required word see cpu always wants a word it doesn't understand anything anything what you are doing cpu will generate some address right or even if cpu generates a virtual address you will convert it to physical address and finally we have to get into the main memory and get that word now assume that we have finally the physical address physical address means the word which we want to get from the main memory okay so now the concept is CPU, let us say, is generating some word like this, some address like this. Okay, how many word, how many bits should be there in the address? If you have, uh, you know, 64 words, how many bits should be there? 6 bits, 2 power 6 is 64, isn't it? So, physical address contains uh, 6 bits. So, CPU is going to generate 6 bits. Using those 6 bits, you should find out what is the word we want and then we should find out whether that word is present in the cache or not in case if it is not present in the cache we should go to the main memory and get it got it that is called as cache hit and cache miss in case of cache hit we will find it out from the cache in case of cache miss we will go to the i know this main memory and get it okay now we have i am saying that it is six bits right so let us say cpu has generated something like this 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so these are the six bits is it yeah one two three four five six okay we need only six i have written eight okay now we have uh, these uh, six bits these six bits represents you know a two power six uh, uh, addresses using six bits therefore when cpu has generated this what does cpu really want cpu wants the word number five isn't it you can check it word number five now how to get the word number five since it is divided like this see how many how many blocks are there 16 blocks and what is the size of each block 4 therefore i can divide the entire uh, address into two parts the least significant two bits is going to give you something called as block offset block offset means what is the word within the block and the most significant four bits is going to give you something called as block number block number means what is the block in which i should look at it look into right now if you observe this this address is saying that look into the block number one zero 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 means zero 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 one means we look into the block number one which means i have to go into this block number one right and then the block offset says that you know look into the word zero one so inside the block what is the word zero one if you assume that the words are starting with location zero then inside a block what is the word zero one five understood this 
so what we want is we want to get into the block number uh, something and then get that word that is how you could uh, you could change the addresses if you if you have any doubt let's let's see one more let us say 0 0 1 0 1 0 right so what is the block I mean what is the word represented by this the word is 10 which means we, we want the word number 10 then you can divide this into two parts one part is nothing but block offset and other part is nothing but block number so what is the block offset here block number here block number is saying that you have to go into the block number 2 so what is the block number 2 0 1 2 this one and then the word offset is saying that I mean this uh, block name block offset is saying that inside the block we have to get into the uh, you know uh, we have to get the word at uh, location 2 if you start from 0 0 1 2 is third location so 0 1 2 is third location 10 is present here got it so that is how the address can be divided so address can be divided in such a way that we can find out the block number and then the block offset right and now the next thing is we have to find out first whether that particular block we are looking looking for is present in the cache or not got it in case if it is present in cache i can use the block offset and i can get fetch the required word in case if it is not present then i'll get that particular block and put it in the uh, you know cache right now now there are various issues here one issue is if you observe it we have 16 blocks here and we have only four blocks here obviously i cannot put all the 16 blocks into four blocks isn't it i cannot do that then how can i or what can i put there right that is called as mapping and there are various kinds of mappings proposed the first and the simplest mapping is direct mapping so direct mapping says that if you have to uh, if you have to take or if you have to put some blocks main memory blocks in the cache where are you going to put it or where are they supposed to be kept that is what mapping says so mapping says what is the position in which we are going to put the blocks right so where in which line of the cache does one block of the main memory go the simplest one is this i'll tell you the simplest one and we shall analyze it okay now the simplest one is okay so for this you, you just remember this uh, for this main memory i'm going to divide the address like this even though the address is going to contain six bits i can divide into two parts four bits is going to be the block number and two bits is going to be the block offset that is what you could remember okay and now uh, what is that i'm trying to do is i'll just see in a round robin manner round robin manner let us say this block name this cache number is a zero okay and this cache number is 1 I mean this line number 2 3 so we have line number 0 line number 1 line number 2 line number 3 right now what I'll try to do is um, I'll go in a round robin manner which means block number 0 will go into line number 0 and block number 1 will go into line number 1 block number 2 will go into this and block number 3 will go into this again 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so what does it mean i'm not going to put all these blocks at the same time in these numbers i mean to say that whenever i have to fetch block number zero into the cache it is always supposed to get into line number zero that is what is the meaning so whenever i want to fetch block number four into the cache i'll always fetch in i will always get into the you know uh, cache uh, block number or this uh, cache line number 0 so 0 4 8 12 are mapping into line number 0 so which means it is a many to one function so what is the many to one function if I have like this so you can think of it like this I have block 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 these are all the main memory blocks right and i have lines how many lines do i have the number of lines i have in the cache is 0 1 2 3 right and now i'm going to have this as many to one function which means to 0 0 is mapped to 0 and 4 is mapped to 0 8 is mapped to 0 
and 12 is mapped to 0 right like that you can see that mapping which means all these are mapped to the line number 0 so it really means i what i really mean to say is if you ever want to get either 0 or 4 or 8 or 12 they should always be placed in the line number 0 nowhere else right and similarly uh, 1 5 9 13 should always be placed in line number 1 like that i have distributed it in a round robin manner right so what does it really mean so it is you know what is the logic behind it why are we doing it so if you can look into the addresses it will give you some hint why we are actually doing it is if you can look into the addresses maybe you'll get the hint let me say the block number how many bits are, are there in the block number four bits isn't it so let's say the four bits are like this these are the block number bits 1 0 0 0 0 okay see I'll, I'll go very slowly for this topic because if the basics are not clear you will not be able to answer any question in this but once the basics are clear you will be able to answer it very fast so for this topic I'll be going in very detailed manner and I'll explain everything possible okay I just I don't want you to miss any question in this topic because this is a very frequent last topic every year you will at least see one question on cash at least every year and the questions are very easy too okay there are all the 16 numbers 16 block numbers so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 right there are all the block numbers in the main memory i have written all the block numbers in the binary so that i want to observe what is really going on here so if you watch this they are saying that you know 0 4 8 12 are going to get into the you uh, know block number 0 block, line number 0 of cash so 0 4 and then 8 and then 12 they are saying that these four blocks are getting into the line number you know 0 so why should they get into line number 0 if you observe it the least two significant bits of all this the least two significant bits if you observe it they are 0 0 right so the least two significant bits if they are 0 0 if they are representing 0 it means that they are going to go into the if they are present if they are ever present in the cash cash line they will always be present in the cash, cash line number 0 right and now uh, if you observe one more one more thing only these four blocks will have you know the least significant two bits as uh, zeros no other block will ever have it right similarly you can observe even this 1 5 9 13 right so if you observe 1 5 9 13 it is 1 5 9 13 their two least significant bits are going to have 0 1 isn't it that is why they are getting into the block number 1 right and no other blocks will have the least two significant bits as 0 1 in the block number part i am not talking about the entire address only this is what this is only the block block number part the entire address is 4 and 2 are taken only the block number part right and similarly 2 6 10 14 so 2 6 10 14 they are also going to have the same thing isn't it and similarly uh, 3 7 11 14 right so now what has happened we are using this kind of organization because we could easily divide the main memory address whatever the address is the physical address like this so if i have six bit physical address right then the least two bits are going to be the block offset because the block size is four words therefore the least two bits are going to be the block offset this is fine and then how many bits are remaining four bits are going to be remaining this entire four bits combinedly will represent block number isn't it block number 
of the main memory. Now I am going to take two bits from it, the least significant two bits and these two bits will indicate the line number, right? And then these remaining two bits, isn't it? Only remaining two bits are there, even though the diagram shows it, there are more bits. Remaining two bits is going to, uh, you know, indicate the part which is called as tag, right? So now the block number is going to be divided into two parts. One is the line number of the cache in which it is going to be present and the tag of this. Okay, why should we need tag is simple. See, uh, every line is mapped onto four blocks. Therefore, if something is present inside a cache line, it could be any of these four combinations, isn't it? Now, these two bits will identify which one of these four is present there. That is why we are going to have this. Understood this? So now the main memory, the address is going to be divided into three parts. One is block offset, other is block number. Now the block number is going to be divided into two parts. One is line number and the other is tag, right? So now let's let's take an example and let's observe it, how this entire thing makes sense. Now assume that at some point in time, at some point in time, okay, uh, the cache, that one, I'm just writing that cache, I told you that cache is containing four lines, one, two, three, four, four lines are there and the tag is saying that, this tag is saying that it is 0, 0, this tag is saying that it is 1, 1, this tag is saying that it is 1, 0 and this tag let us say is again saying it is 1, 1, right. Now the question is, if this is the scenario, then what are the words of the main memory which are present in the cache? This is the configuration. So I am saying that this is the configuration which is present inside the uh, cache. Now by looking at this configuration, you have to say what are the words of the main memory which are present in this, uh, you know, cache. So how can you say it? Just, uh, just look at that organization. See this? Now in this uh, direct mapping, two bits of tag have to be fall here, which means if you are talking about this, I'll, I'll talk about each line one after one. So two bits of the tag are going to fall here and then the next one is line number. What is line number of this? Line number is 0, line number is 1, line number is 2, line number is 3, right? So line number 0 is 0, 0, right? And what about this? This is the block offset which contains two bits and therefore we have four combinations there. So this entire thing put together is going to give you the block number, right? So what does it mean? The block number 0 is present in this uh, you know cache if block number 0 is present in it in this cache what are the words that are present 0 1 2 3 which means the words which are present in this are 0 1 2 3 if you didn't understand how i got it from this diagram maybe you know word offset this block offset you are free to substitute all the four combinations this will contain 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 followed by this, this is 0 1 2 3 that is what is present here right and similarly Similarly, you can even get, you know, see this. So watch it. So if I have uh, the second one, so what is the tag bits? Tag bits is 1, 1. See, it might uh, seem to be difficult, but once you practice it, it's easiest topic, I'll tell you. It's easiest topic. You will not even use pen and paper. You'll directly answer it just by looking at the question. But while practicing it, let's practice more, okay? Let's, let's go slowly and let's practice more. Hmm. Okay, even if it is difficult, even if you are feeling now that it is difficult, just keep going. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you until you say that it is easy. Okay. So trust me and just keep going. And now uh, tag is 1 1 isn't it? And what is the block number 1? Block number 1 is 0 1. Then anyway these two bits are block offset and they will contain everything from all zeros to all ones. So what does it mean? It is 1 1 0 1 right and then 0 0 1 1 0 1 and then 0 1 1 1 0 1 and then 0 2 1 1 0 1 oh what is 0 2 it is 1 0 right 1 0 and 1 1 these are the four words which are present in this particular line um, now let's look at the line number 2 again so line number 2 is going to contain tags so tag is 2 bits which is 1 1 and then um, line number is containing 0 1 and then the word is word can be anywhere i mean this uh, block offset can be 0 0 to 0 i mean 0 0 to 1 1 right so what is it what are the various words present 
ज़ीरो ज़ीरो वन वन ज़ीरो वन ज़ीरो वन 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 ज़ीरो वन वन ज़ीरो वन वन ज़ीरो वन 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 राइट सो वॉट इज दिस दिस इज थर्टीन वन वन ज़ीरो वन इज थर्टीन थर्टीन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ फोर इज फिफ्टी टू राइट इट इज फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर एंड फिफ्टी फाइव देर फॉर द वर्ड्स प्रेजेंट हियर आर फिफ्टी टू वर्ड नंबर फिफ्टी टू वर्ड नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री वर्ड नंबर फिफ्टी फोर वर्ड नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव राइट एंड वॉट अबाउट द नेक्स्ट वन If it is uh, this one, so what does the tag say? Tag is saying that the tag bits are one zero and the block number is line number is zero. Uh, sorry, one zero. Line number is also one zero, and then uh, yeah, this can be zero zero to one one, right? So it is one zero one zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero one zero. वन जीरो वन जीरो वन वन राइट दैन वॉट इज दिस वन जीरो वन जीरो इज टेन नो कॉन्कैंड विथ टू जीरो इज फोर आई मीन मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ फोर राइट विच मीन्स इट इज फोर्टी इट इज फोर्टी वन इट इज फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री राइट सो इट इज फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री एंड इफ यू लुक एट द नेक्स्ट वन टैग बिट्स और वन वन राइट एंड even the line number is also 11 so it is 1111 is the block number and the offset can be 00 to block offset can be 00 to 11 right so it is 1111 and the block offset can be 001101011111101111 now what is this 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 number is 15 15 you know concatenated with two zeros is 15 into 4 is 60 60, 61, 62, 63. So this one is nothing but 60, 61, 62, 63. Why? Because it is the no 1111 is 15th block. 15th block means the last one. Last one contains 60, 61, 62, 63. Got it? So this is how. Given any configuration of the cache, you can identify what are the blocks present in this, right? Now how will the CPU do this? Let us say you generate some address. Let us say the address given by CPU is like this. One one zero one, you know zero one. This is the address generated by CPU. Then what will CPU try to say is it will first try to check in the cache if that particular block is present. How will it identify which block to check? It will use this line number. This part is the line number, right? Now it will go into that line. What is line zero one? Zero one means one, right? So this is the line number, and then it will compare this one with the tag. Yes. Now the tag is one one, and it is also saying one one. Oh, then it will understand that okay, in this line number, the required uh, block is present. Therefore, I can get into the second location and can get it. In fact, if you observe this, this number is fifty-three, right? One one zero one zero zero is fifty-two. Zero one is fifty-three. So we want the word number fifty-three. Then CPU will go into that particular line and it will compare the tag and then it is going to get it, right? So let us say one more. Let's see one more example. Uh, let us assume that cpu has generated the address hmm. 100111 this is the address generated by cpu right then what will it do is it will again look at the line number and will go into that particular line and then it will use the tag to see if that particular line contains the required block in case if it is present then it will fetch the 11 the line number the word offset 11 right so which line it should get into line number 1 line number 1 means this one right and then it will try to compare this tag with 10 so here the tag is saying 11 here the tag is saying 10 so obviously you can say that oh this is not the one which i am looking for which means the required block is not present inside the cache so this one will be a hit and this one will be a miss right so if you observe it in not to implement this in hardware what i need is comparators why should i compare because the tags has to be compared in the the tags which are present in the cache lines have to be compared with the tags which are present in the addresses then only i can say whether a particular you know block is present here or not so hardware implementation i'll show you later but now first let's focus on the problems now i think you understood some you know something at least uh, some few basics one basics you know some kind of basics like this okay so what i'll try to do is i i want you to be familiar with the questions numericals 
and then we shall go into the implementation and see other other kinds of questions okay first let's take some simple questions and solve them